How are you doing today? We're going to talk about greens, green vegetables. Uh, greens are a staple in my diet. I always tell people or ask me, what's the fastest way to lose weight? The fastest way to lose weight is to eat protein and greens. Now, greens means uh, any vegetable that's like a water-based vegetable. There's vegetables that are uh, more sugar-based, like, for instance, corn, sweet potatoes, squash. Those are more sweet, and you can taste it when you eat them, that they're a lot more sweet. Even carrots are considered a carbohydrate rather than a, uh, a vegetable or a green in my book. So there's lots and lots of different greens you can choose from. The, the typical ones you think of are the fresh ones, of course, like... A lettuce, a celery, um, you know, cucumbers, peppers, all those nice fresh produce items. But, you know, it's not always uh, handy to have them on hand, and it's not always in season. So, uh, what I like to do is I like to keep a good stocked freezer full of green vegetables. Now, some of my favorite items are uh, green beans. We have uh, green beans, uh, green giant green beans, and baby whole green beans. I like the baby whole green beans versions. Now, um, these are frozen, and you can just cook them in the microwave very easily, and I'll show you how I do that in a, in a minute here. I also have, uh, Walmart has these nice uh, asparagus trays. Actually, um, I bought this one a few months ago, and I'm not sure they still carry these, but these are just trays. You can put them in the microwave that um, have the cover on them, and you just cook them in the microwave the asparagus. And these were my staple when I was contest training, and, and they're so nice to have on hand. I just eat a whole tray of it. And actually, the funny thing to note on here is that there, uh, there's 3 grams of carbohydrate per serving, and there's also 3 grams of protein per serving. So it's almost the perfect food. It's half carbohydrate, half protein. And uh, they say a serving size is three to five spheres, and that there's four in each container. Personally, uh, and each each serving is only 20 calories. So personally, I'd end up eating the whole tray in one sitting, or um, at least half at one at, at a time. So anyway, that's kind of interesting there with frozen frozen asparagus. It's great to have. Uh, I just had Brussels sprouts this morning. Uh, these are baby Brussels sprouts, and um, by Pick Sweet. Uh, these are great. I put these um, in a bowl and cook them up in the morning in the microwave, and they're fun to just nibble on as I'm cleaning the kitchen or whatever, and uh, I really like these. Um, and my favorite stir-fry is, a, once again, asparagus-based, asparagus stir-fry. Uh, it has like asparagus, um, carrots, peppers, broccoli, pea pods, uh, cauliflower, and some yellow squash in there. Um, and I like I like to cook this and put some um, like kind of like a soy a sweet Thai sauce on it uh, with uh, some um, tuna fish or some chicken and some almonds and it's a great great meal. Okay, eat a made edamed soybeans. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. So edamed, um, they are uh, they have these at the in the frozen food section. These are fun because you can cook them and then you just eat the insides. You don't eat the they're not like pea pods. You don't eat the outsides of them. You eat the insides of them. They're like little beans inside. And they're kind of like something else fun to kind of like nibble on. Um, and they're basically a protein. They're 8 grams of protein, 9 grams of carbohydrate. So half carbohydrate, half protein once again. Serving size is a half a cup. Um, calories are a little higher on these uh, because they do have uh, more protein in them and more carbs. They're more dense. The, the bean inside, the soybean, is, is rather dense. But it's fun. It's a fun little thing to eat. My kids like to eat it because the, 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 the insides, the soybean actually just squirts right out of the, the pocket. Um, another thing to have on hand is spinach, frozen spinach. You can put this in omelets. You can put it in um, basically anything. You put it on pizza, whatever. I have one that's open. I have one that's closed here. Of course, bro broccoli, standby green. Um, you know, you got to be careful with some of these items. Most of the, the kinds that I have are not cruciferous. Broccoli's cruciferous. That means it's got those little, uh, like, um, leafy things on it. <laughs> and, and sometimes that can cause gas in people. So um, if you have stomach issues when you eat broccoli, um, I'd recommend uh, just making sure you chew really, really well. Um, limit the amount uh, that you're eating at one sitting and also um, I would tend to eat it in the evening hours rather than during the day so that you your stomach can have some quiet time to digest it 
uh, without you moving around and eating five other things and all the you know with it. So so um, personally, I have that issue. I love 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 broccoli. I could eat it all day long, except my stomach doesn't like it. So anyway, just be really careful with uh, different it, once you identify if you identify different greens that that irritate you. So this is just a. Uh, example of uh, some of the things that I keep on stock. Like I said, I have about twice as much of this in my freezer than what I pulled out. Um, so I, I have it stocked at all times so I can always have a green on hand. So the goal is to have at least two servings of greens a day. So if you can get that down and consistently do that, you're going to see um, a lot of fun changes in your body. And also you're going you're gonna to feel really good energy. Uh, these vegetables are so nutrient dense that, that it's just your body needs that, your body craves that, and you know the fiber intake and and everything and, and your and your satisfaction with your food is is going to increase so much. So I really encourage you to eat a lot of greens. Um, I'm going to pull out uh, some of the the greens in my refrigerator here and do another little demo for you. So um, and then we'll we'll get to cooking some of this these items. And so so stay tuned. Make sure you check out some of the other videos that I'm going to do about green.